players to be a lot harder at the contested ball. Now what he wants them to do this quarter is that uh, go through the corridor, short pass, don't bomb the ball down. Over to you boys. Underway in the second term, Mitchell have won the tap again for Lee Dale, but McManus was at the fall of the ball for the Mustangs. They need a quick goal early in the second term. Big bump applied there on McNay. Still the ball in dispute at the bottom of the pack there for Brawl Barker's belly. And will have a bounce as he's put on his belly, 70 metres out from goal. I've been practising that one all week. <laughs> no, it just, it just came to me because it's so creative. Oh, really of course creative. it did. Of course it did. It's not really creative, is it? Atkinson won the tap for the Mustangs. Working his way forward there is Jordan. He went backwards to go forwards. Got the hand pass away to Egan. And away go the Mustangs towards left half forward. Kick went over the head of the intended target in Badoz. Giorgio couldn't take it on the second bite. It's spoiled over the line. We'll have a bounce 50 out for the Burrell Mark goal. See that? That's been the difference between the two sides already. Uh, two handballs hitting a target, two handballs missing a target there from Murlbach. That's it, boundary side, Ray Bear. Yeah, just back on Paris. Look, he's obviously without Zaleski there. He doesn't want them bobbing the ball down. He's counting on his midfielders to run past the ball. After they short pass into the half-forward line, he wants goals from his midfield. He stressed that. Hand pass comes in the direction of James McManus. Pushed in the back there was Busa, and he'll receive the free kick. About 50 out from goal, probably within his range with the breeze at his back. He's on a very acute angle, though. He's going to have to aim out to that uh, right goal post to bring it back if he is. It's actually a good spot to kick a long-range goal from here. Musa wheels onto the right foot. Sends a long proby kick to the goal line. It won't quite make it. Stevens oh. almost took a chest mark. Bustles his way out of the pack. Kick was smothered on the goal line and rushed through in the end by the Lilydale defence. And it's a minor score. Del Biondo taking it over the line. Borough Bark 1 5 11, trailing Lilydale 5 3 33. Two minutes gone. Second term. Bendy Go Bank scoreboard. They're the opportunities you've got to take when you get them. So Dean Carswell for the Falcons. Of course, all sides are always using that far side of Baronia Reserve. Mitchina takes the mark. I guarantee if you put the van over there, it'll be <laughs> played over here. That's what I was going to say. Certainly not wrong, as Morrison took a good mark and then slammed it on his boot up towards the half-forward line. It wasn't an intended target kick, so nicely done there by McManus uh. of the James variety to get the handball away, but to no avail, chopping it off there, Horsley as we cross down to Raymond Baird. Hey, Mo, if we put the van over there, Bruce could just run the power up to the tower on the mountain and be closer. <laughs> <laughs> the power would be higher. So, umpire. Free kick to Lilydale it was. So, the kick goes up. Preston, he's having some sort of a game yeah, as well. Yeah, he's he uh, certainly finding space and, and winning the football as well. Short pass goes inside forward 50, but chopped off there by Maxi Ward. He did a good job. He'll switch the play here. Goes across, James Bally takes it just at the top of the square there. Last line of defence from Merle Bar. So he'll drive it out towards the wing position, a one-on-one -on -one contest. Had the front spot there was Roth. He's kicked Merle Bar's only goal thus far. It came at ground level. Musa picked it up. He got dispossessed of the football and threw it away. Free kick to Lilydale. About 80 metres out from goal. De Franceschi, the recipient. So Mitch D. Franceschi, that was a shocking kick in the end. And the mark has been safely held there by James Bally for Maruba. Three and a half minutes gone, 33 pays 11, 22 point margin to the Falcons. Bally looks towards centre wing, Giorgio couldn't take the mark. Jumping up high there for the Mustangs was John. Got the hand pass away on the left foot. Giorgio streams towards the left half board. The kick goes in that direction. Roving the ball there is Craig Smith. Tried to break away. Got the hand pass to his teammate in Roth. Sends it into the pocket. Stevens had it spoiled away. That was great defence by Hill for the Falcons. And it's kicked off the ground. It should trickle over the line. There's a bit of a foot race for the ball. Kept in play, however. Birdson tried to affect the tackle. The Mustangs do have possession, however. Got to weave his way through McManus. Did well to get the right hand pass away. And he roved his own footy. Chance now for the Mustangs. A high ball towards the top of the square. Working back is Giorgio with the flight. Couldn't take the mark. Courageous effort. It is rushed through for a minus score. Brawlbark 1-6-12. Trailing Lilydale 5-3-33. Four minutes into the second term on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. That was just ugly, wasn't it? The way they just brought it in, it was just all scrambled. There's no fluency with their game at the moment. Tell me about it. So Klepp to bring it in. Blackburn lead by eight points over Doncaster in the Division One elimination final. 50 metres out from the Murrubark goal line. Nicely trapped there by Preston. He got dispossessed of the football. You gave the guy, I gave the guy a rap only moments ago, and now he's been pinged. 
So Atkinson, the big man, he was looking for a giveaway handball, but it wasn't his free kick to begin with. So he'll have to hand it off. So he's met in Nusa. Played a lot of football at the Murrubark Football Club. On the right boot, kicks it towards the Stevens direction. He had two players to beat, and getting a timely fist on it there was Grant Hill. Just an awful kick, wasn't it? I mean, there was there was never going to be a mark there. Two on one, just a kick and hope, really. But Michener did a great job. He went in, plugged the hole up, and when you look down there, that was the only area in front of goal that you could go to, and Michener was, was there by himself. Speak of the devil, Michener, a little flick over the back there, but it's scooped upon there by Musa. Got the handball away. He needed some teammates there to help him out, but throwing it away there was Maxi Ward, and the free kick will go the way of Lilydale across the half-back line here. Here's Baker on the right boot, short passes on. Michener takes the mark. Wants to switch the play. It was a scrambly looking kick and a strong mark taken on the second bite there by Jordan. Off to the races on the right boot. Sends the ball inside forward 50. That's a great kick, Giorgio. It was front and centre and took it out on the chest and he'll have a shot on goal. 40 metres out, almost directly in front. A must goal this kick is. I, I like the idea of playing Stevens and Giorgio there, but Stevens has got to stay in the square to allow Giorgio the forward part of the 50 like he did then, and his ability to roam that area is fantastic. He's so dangerous. So Giorgio comes in. He's always a good kick, and that was one of his worst attempts we've seen for a long time. He had the breeze at his back, and he just scissored it. It didn't even make the distance in the end, so a disappointing result there. From Mural Bark. They've kicked seven behinds on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. 1 7 13. So it's eight scoring shots apiece, but Lilydale, they lead 5 3 33. 20 point lead, Damo. Clep looked in the bitch in a direction. Now a free kick will be paid off the pack. It's going the way of Mural Bark. So they are peppering. It's at right half forward. And the recipient there is Josh Hammond. So Hammond's about 55 out from goal. Was held off the ball onto the left foot. Looks into the hot spot. Giorgio a one on one. Couldn't take the mark. Lilydale have the numbers at the back through Clep. Clep gets the hand pass away, finds his teammate in Michener. They work it forward methodically, the chain of hand passes. Michener on the end of it at half back. Gets the hand pass away, and the Falcons move it across the outer wing once again. Looks at the direction of Harvey. Chance now for Lilydale to move it towards centre half forward. Leading out for the ball is Preston, who's been fantastic as a target. Gets the hand pass away. Probing kick towards centre half forward. Brawbach at the numbers. It's a fickle bounce, but it's favoured Musa. Musa kicks it towards the outer wing. No real target there. It'll bounce in the direction of Craig Smith, who takes it. Didn't have to really break stride. Onto the right foot. Kicks towards right half forward. And the mark's been taken by Roth, the only goal kicker for the Mustangs. He rushes the kick to an extent, <sighs> looking in the Stevens direction. It trickles out of play deep in the Brawlbark fourth pocket. He Just didn't even allow his forwards to go back and set up then. Uh, he still had Giorgio running back to the goal square when he decided to play on. He's got to understand that forwards have got to have an opportunity to set up and especially with the two big throng forwards. Just a silly option, that one. Very low percentage going into the forward pocket after two really good kicks to get themselves in that position. Michener got it down. Grant Hill scrambled a kick. Stolen by Murlbach oh, yeah. and a shot on goal. That is a fantastic snap around the body there. I think it might have been Aaron Badoz who yeah, might have yeah, snagged yep. that one through the big man. So he did well to chop that one off and just put it on his boot. A timely one there for the Murrubark Football Club. Eight and a half minutes into this second term. They inch closer. It's a 14-point margin. 33 plays 19. It's funny, isn't it? It wasn't necessarily a great lead-up, but they forced the stoppage and they grabbed the goal. And, boy, they needed that. I think Moose has had a good uh, 10 minutes uh, yep. at, on the ground. And, and, again, with Giorgio, Carswell's a very good player one-on-one -on -one when the ball's in the air. You've got to allow uh, Giorgio space to run. You can't just bomb it onto the top of his head because he's not that sort of player that's going to take the big mark in that area. Taking a little bit of time to get the Sharon back in the middle of here and out at Tormore Reserve. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast on 98.1 Radio Eastern and streaming live around the globe on efl.org.au. And they've changed up their forward line now, gone a fraction smaller. Um, we're all back, so they're... It's they've taken uh, Stevens off. Michener got the knockdown that time, diving on it, Ryan McNay. And young Downey, I think, is coming to the forward line. Restart here in the middle of the park. Michener 
winning the rock battle so far. Ball bounces out towards the direction there of Bally Mur for Murrabark. He hit the deck quite quickly. Sam Baker was right on his hammer and will have another bounce. Sun's gone away, but it's still dry. Entertaining first half out here, and now it'll be Slattery looping handball over the top, and Murlbach have a chance to go forward up towards the half forward line. Bouncing football picked up there by Georgia Goat. The handball over the top, he might look for the receive again. Inside forward 50 it goes. They're looking for Downey there, just going to the pocket too often, I feel, at the moment, Murlbach. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. And look, that's where maybe the forwards are leading, but they've got to go deeper into dangerous territory, which is that 10 metres out from the. Uh, the goal line. Grant Soupy Campbell, the stats that matter thanks to Choose Tap. Inside 57 to 3 in favour of Murlbach. The wing, wing the clearance is 4 to 1 and the contested possessions 18 to 8. Class Henry got the kick out, came out towards the Baker direction. He hit the deck, so too did Wiles. Well done there by Murlbach just to hold it up as we cross down boundary side to Ray Bed. Look, Lilydale are forcing them into that pocket. Lilydale are blocking the corridor up uh, really well. Five point lead to Doncaster over Blackburn in the elimination final. Close game out there at Jubilee Park as the ball goes up towards the half forward line for Lilydale or thereabouts. Sam Baker, he's been in and amongst it as well. Little Terrier and uh, received a free kick as well. I thought that was a pretty ticky touch wood, but nonetheless, the umpire has paid it the way of the Dales. The kick goes up towards the half forward line. Had a fair bit of support out on that far side of the ground, Lilydale. So, and it certainly didn't help him in that instant as uh, the kick was chopped off there by Slattery. But they'll go after it again. Charging through there was Batty. Got himself out of a phone booth. Got the handball out looking for Class Henry. But it was chopped off now. Murlbach, the handball here is the Slattery. He has a bounce. He Keep might going. He might go. He has two. He might go all the way. Give him the vibro goal of the day. But put this one through, you little beauty. Oh. That is one of the goals of the year. Murlbach. Well, if that's not going to lift your side, nothing will. And on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard, that's three majors now to them, and they close the gap back to eight points. Fantastic play there by the Mustangs. It was brilliant, wasn't it? Almost looked like he sort of wanted to give it off Slattery. So he had one bounce. I think he looked around, realised there was no one with him, and thought, I'll just go for this myself. And bang, fantastic goal. And as is the case in the AFL, he does that, and he comes off onto the interchange. <laughs> Just what you need. Unbelievable. Let's hit boundary side, Ray Bear. Exactly what Paris was asking for at quarter time, boys. Down the corridor, midfielders scoring goals. Well, a goal, an answering one to Murlbach. They've struck two together. And it really came out of nowhere. Slattery streaming through the corridor. What's been a scrappy encounter. Lilydale by eight points, back in the middle. Stevens moving into the ruck, but it's still Lilydale for a bitch and a winning the taps. And it's Burtson from 70 metres out into the corridor. Looks nice. towards full forward. How about that for an answering passage of play? And the mark for the big man, of course, a great mark. Might be Preston again. Preston. Yeah, it's Preston. He said a terrific go. And he takes the mark 30 out directly in front. So Andrew Preston. So an answer two strung goals consecutively for Murlbach. It's a oh. floating kick to the right, minus score. So Lilydale wasted opportunity, 5-4-34, leading Murlbach 3-7-25. 13 minutes gone, second term, Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Let's head boundary side, Timmy. Yeah, just an update on Ryan Harvey. I just saw him get his ankle struck. He was doing some run-throughs before. He was looking very, very poppy. So it's going to take a big effort for him to get back out in the park, I'd say. So Cutting takes the mark at left half back from the relieving kick in. Looks towards centre wing. The Mustangs are away here once again. A quick bounce. Moving forward is Musa. Musa on the right foot. Sends a long ball towards oh! goal. Oh! Oh! It hit the post pretty much at the top of the woodwork. That would have been a contender for Vibro goal today. We've seen a few of those. Murlbach 3-8, 26 trail. Lilydale 5-4-34 at the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. 14 minutes in second turn. That's great. Quick transference that from uh, Murlbach. Just what uh, Lou and I were doing in the first turn. And they're, they're, they're going to get another chance here as the handball goes out. It's still kept alive. Another shot on goal. This oh. one might have gone through. I think it has. It might have been Maxi Ward that's put that one through on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Or it might have been Craig Smith. In fact, uh, it was Craig Smith. He did well. He got down. He picked it up and slammed it on his boot. So, Murlbach, they are coming. There's no doubt about that. A two-point ball game, Brett Beston, as we cross the 15-minute mark of this second term. Craig Smith's been relatively quiet, so nice to see him get a goal. But Murlbach are playing the sort of game that they played last time they played Lily Dull. And they're starting to really get on top now. So, well, not on top, but certainly getting right back into it. I know Ray said that Paris wanted short passes and to work the ball forward, but for what I saw <laughs> out here yesterday, 
day at, with Knox and Doncaster East. It was all about just getting that momentum, kicking the ball on, creating space, creating opportunity, and you can see the goals roll through, and that's what Moorabark have been doing in the last 10 minutes. Mitchell have won the tap. Burnson tried the street four, but again, Moorabark have the answers for Musa. Kick towards center half forward, a tumbling punt, bounced off the chest of Hassan, tries to regain it, but it's all Lilydale with the numbers, and the clearing kick for Klepp finds the intended target in Burnson. Burtson kicks it towards the half forward line. Oh, Wilson that's a great, great tackle. tackle. Great that's tackle from Ward. That's one of the tackles of the afternoon. And now Muralbach move forward on the counter attack. Mark taken on the chest by Stevens. 70 out from goal. Oh. Kicks it to the man on the mark. It tumbles through towards half forward. Trying to barge his way through there is Downey. The whistle has been blown. It's a Muralbach free kick. And the recipient will be that man Downey for a high tackle. <laughs> well, got to have a shot from here. That's why you don't give big, big men the, the ball and ask them to do fancy things with their footwork. Uh, <laughs> what, the Stevens one? Oh, what <laughs> was he thinking? I was just thinking, you're doing quite well to tackle Downey High because he's about 9 foot 7, he's a big boy. So Sam Downey, kicking from about 53 metres out on a 45 degree angle. Slight breeze at his back to put Moralbach in front. It's not a bad effort. The crowd go up behind the goals and the Mustangs are on fire. They've hit the front, 5-8-38, Lily, Lilydale, 5-4-34, 16 minutes gone, second term on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. Well, the difference has been the fact that uh, there's been the, the game spread out now, that the ball's getting on the outside, and so Lilydale's effectiveness of being hard at the contest has disappeared, and they've not been able to get that physical pressure at all uh, during this quarter. So uh, Murlbach's run has been exceptional. Certainly an entertaining first half. We were worried early that it might be a, a, a quite a dour affair with the weather, but the heavens have opened and we are seeing some uh, pretty impressive football here. Try to restart it once again in the middle of the ground. A lot of plays around this football, scooped upon there by McManus of the James Variety on the left boot, kicked it out wide. The first player out to the uh, to pick up the football there was Klepp for Lilydale. He'll swing around on the left. It was a pretty cute kick, but it was okay because the pace was there on the right boot, an up and under kick. Gained some valuable distance up towards the half forward line. Getting a bit of a fist on it there was Ward, who looked like he was held by one arm, which the umpire did see, and he'll take the free kick, kicks the ball out wide. Did okay, McManus handballs it. That was James, and now they're off. Here's Musa this way, that way, linked up okay here with Sutherland. They're in a little bit of trouble, but they've got the teammates to support themselves. McManus on the left boot, isn't he having some sort of a quarter? Swatted up, cutting, who took the mark and then took off. The umpire said play on. Murlbach drive the ball forward. It's going to be a six on six contest at the top of the goal square. Uh, Grant Hill got the got the knockdown there, got the fist away, going after it there. Almost could have been held without the football. Was Johns Hill came back over the top and now Lilydale they might have the numbers the little scrambly kick out wide looking towards the direction there of Koga over the boundary line it goes that was from Carswell and we'll have a boundary throw in it's a hot footy it's an entertaining second quarter certainly the tempo has risen in the last 20 minutes throw in 55 out for the rural bar goal Stevens won it out of the ruck Roved his own footy, falls to ground level, couldn't quite trap it in. Quick kick out of the pack from Hammond towards the top of the goal square. The Mustangs are pressing, trying to paddle it forward. He's going backwards to go forwards. That man there at the bottom of the pack, I think it was Badoz, forced it to ground level. Ampass comes out though for the Falcons. They'll clear it through class. Henry to Burnson. Burnson kicks it towards centre wing. An open foot race. Charging after it is cutting. Can keep it in play with the still football. It was stationary. Hand pass over the top to Slattery. Now the Mustangs work it towards the half forward line. Lilydale have the numbers in the pack. At the bottom of it is Morrison. The ball's going nowhere as McManus applies the tackle as we head to Grant Campbell for some Tuesday tap match stats. Inside 50s, 14 to 4 in favour from Royal Bark. Contested possession, 30 to 17 in their favour. Certainly dominating his second term. Here's Slattery who just busted his way out of the pack. Thumped the ball inside forward 50. Giorgio was at the back. He tried to trap it. Goes after it again. Second, third effort. Dives on the football. Klepp was right on his hammer. Umpire said, everything was fair, boys. Give it to me and we'll have a bounce 40 metres out from the Murlbach goals. Cutting's had a very big influence this quarter. It's been very, very good. Ty throws it up now. Stevens. He goes up that time against Morrison. Lilydale, a little quick kick out of the pack there, bouncing football out towards the Wilson direction. He had a uh, an opponent there in Jordan who got the, to the football 
quicker, but in the end, the paint wins out as it often does, and over she goes for a boundary throw in, 75 metres out from the Maroolbark goal line. What a second term they are having. They lead this game 5-8-38 to Lilydale, 5-4-34. We've almost crossed time on in this second term. This is the final that we're after, a close very close affair as it comes out now Lilydale they're searching for a goal Murrelbark have been on such a good run trying to break away there was Wilson good second effort stolen though by Hammond though for the Mustangs got a little handball over the top Stevens got the handball away to Jordan he couldn't quite trap it over she goes for a boundary throw in good pressure there by Lockie Wilson for the Falcons and we'll have a boundary throw in as we cross down to Ray Baird but what Paris has done he's put Max Ward out on that other half back flank there because that's the only uh, uh, corridor that uh, Lilydale are using when they come out of defence Lily Dale have got to mix it up, take a chance, maybe just on occasion come through the midfield a bit. Doncaster leading by 13 points in the Division 1 elimination final as we're back underway at Torbor Reserve. McManus applying the tackle, it's in the back. And the recipient for Lily Dale, it was oh, probably there. Boy. Tell and you what, that could McNay. have almost been 25 yeah, too. Sure, he's, sure he's lucky there, sure, <laughs> McManus. Yeah, McManus pushing McNay, but McNay takes the relieving kick, free kick into the centre of the ground. Trying to find Koga. Rohrbach at the numbers. High tackle applied on Slattery. Not paid. A dive on top of the football. A couple of, a couple of ensuing players will have a bounce in the centre of the ground. Crowd really starting to get into this. They love their footy, don't they? Out towards the gateway of the Yarra Valley. Lilydale of Rohrbach. Geographical neighbours and rivals. Bernston wins the clearance with a rain-making kick towards centre half forward for the Falcons. Flying high was low, brought it to ground level, but the Mustangs have the numbers around the scrimmages at the moment. McManus got the hand pass. Great away. tackle. Try to apply the tackle there was brilliant play from Batty. Also at the thick of it there is Dub to pace and will have a bounce about 70 out from the Lilydale goal. It's getting really willing in those contests, isn't it? It's getting very, very physical. So we're set in motion once again. Hope you're enjoying the atmosphere through the wireless. Spitchener. Uh, free kick's been paid off the pack. I think Ward's going to be the recipient here for the Mustangs. Incorrect disposal. So, good tackle applied by Ward. Looks laterally towards the outer wing. Hand pass comes to Slattery in the centre of the ground. Sends a dribbling kick towards Craig Smith. Made it difficult for him. Interception from DePace. DePace manages to hack it onto his boot towards centre half forward. Clever. Good slap oh. there from Mitchener. If a slap is allowed, here's a kick inside 50. Lily Dale had the numbers on the bounce. Hand pass comes in the direction of Koga. Weaves his way through. High ball. Diving underneath it is Preston. Couldn't quite take it at the ground level. And Lowe takes the mark and kicks the goal. I think he took it on the bounce. It was one metre out. Ran into the open goal. And Lily Dale regained the lead. They're 6 4 40, leading Moralbark 5 8 38. 22 and a half minutes into the second term on the Bendigo Bank scoreboard. And once again, it was that man Preston, wasn't it? He's been very, very good. He got the ball in the uh, pocket and gave the hand pass off. Terrific work by him. And great tap on from Michener, wasn't it? Really. Mm -hmm. that, that was a very clever piece of work. And unfortunately, Murrelbach just, they tried that little tap on in the middle. It just didn't work. So, uh, you know, if it comes off, it's great. If it doesn't, it can cause you uh, a turnover. That's low second. Uh, finally, we have a multiple goal scorer on the park today as the umpire pays a free kick to Lilydale. Out of the middle of the ground, here's Horsley on the left boot, squeezed to kick up, that was good. Low takes the mark. Asking for players to present across the half forward line and then just poked it up, so that was okay. Here's Lockie Kogo, kicked it straight into the man of the mark, he'll have to go after it again. Fantastic play there by McManus of the Sean Variety. He had the smother, then he mopped up the pieces as well, got it away. Here's Hager on the left boot from Rulbach, inside forward 50 or thereabouts, across the half forward line. Atkinson almost threw it away, looking for Slattery, charging through there was Del Biondo for Lilydale. He was dispossessed, the umpire said, play on, and the Falcons moved the ball up towards the half back line, Koga went after it, McManus got a timely hand on it, got it away to his brother there in James, eventually the ball's pushed over the boundary line, James Bally sees it over, right in front of us here in the broadcast position, right in front of the faithful of both sides, it's all happening out here at Tormore Reserve 40 plays, 38, Lilydale lead by 2 points, 24 minutes into the second term Big stick, Scratton Stevens. He got into the front spot, got the knockdown there. There was a lot of plays around this football. Will it scoot out? Eventually it does well on there by Hammond. Got the handball away. What a crunching tackle that was, though. And unrewarded. It was brilliant by Ryan McNay. And he feels like he's been hard done by because he brought down James McManus, who's had some sort of a first half, especially 
in this second term and we'll have a bounce through center wing position. Set boundary side. Yeah, the intensity's really gone up here. It's definitely gone up a notch here. The last probably two minutes or so, the crowd getting really involved. Yes, you can hear through the effects by Jordan. In a confined space, Hammond's kick was smothered and he applies a tackle on his opponent. For Lilydale and McNair will have a bounce true set of weak position. I just wonder if it might fly up a wee bit, boys, because there was a fair bit of feeling the last two uh, time these two sides met. It's getting a little bit willing out there, so we could see a little bit of stuff, a bit of rough stuff come into this game. It was a throw in in the end, it trickled over the line. Stevens won the tap for Moorbach. He's been good in the ruck this term as Craig Smith is gang tackle. We'll have a bounce again on set of wing. Right in front of our broadcast position. You've gone very quiet, BWS. I think it was the burgers that you saw walking <laughs> past. <after>, uh, <laughs> McManus's kick was stubborn out of the pack, but it ricochets back to his teammate. You should see me when a beer walks past. <laughs> <laughs> Packs it towards half forward, and the umpire will come in with a relieving stoppage. 70 out for the Moral Bark goal. A walking bin, I don't like to see. <laughs> Rainbow appearing in the background amongst the Dandenong Rangers. Stevens won the tap, but Bernston hacks it out of midair. Towards set a wing. McManus at the fall of the ball is gang tackled. Duck the head. Umpire calls for a bounce. It's gone back to that uh, that ten five minutes of really tough, intense football that uh, Lilydale were enjoying uh, early on in the uh, in the game. Lilydale holding a two-point advantage over Moralbach. Late in this second term, we're on the cusp of half-time as McManus is a geek play. He's been in the thick of it, Davo, James McManus. Yeah, yeah he's been terrific. <laughs> sorry, Davo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, been very, very good. Don't knock a man when he's trying to have a bite of a burger, Besto. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just doing him a favour because I knew he was about to hoe <laughs> Comes out now on Class Henry, the hyphen inside forward 50. Will it stay alive? It just bounces inside, touched over the line. Oh, gee, oh, gee she's, uh, she's have a boundary that. throwing. <laughs> it's made her day. Yeah, Preston uh, <laughs> diving into the spectators there. It's almost Dustin Fletcher, 1996 at the SCG, when Plugger threw him <laughs> into the crowd. <laughs> the only time Plugger did something like that either as Stevens just threw it away, the umpire said play on, so Jordan had a chance to get it on his left boot in towards the middle of the ground, it was nicely done there by Aiken, he went backwards to go forwards now Murrubuck out towards the far side out here of Tormore Reserve, can they keep the ball alive, nicely done there by Downey little handball backwards, again they'll try and move the ball forward but nobody is home and Lilydale a chance to rebound kick into the middle of the ground where Bernston takes the mark He's been good all day. He has. Yeah, he's played very well. The Jesus headband. Kicks the ball across the face here. So Lilydale just trying to work themselves forward. Class Henry takes it and he takes off on the left boot. That's a beautiful kick up towards the half forward line. Just had a little bit too much purchase on there that time for Del Biondo. Well done there by uh, Sutherland to trap the football. Lilydale faithful screaming for holding the ball but the siren sounds in the background to announce half time of what has been a magnificent game so far in this Division 2 final Lilydale at half time, they lead by 2 points 6 4 40 to Murlbach who came hard and came strong in that second term and reduced the deficit to only 2 points at half time, the only major goal kick